Hi guys, it's Sam, and I am such a dummy. I put together this raised garden bed, and that would have been a perfect opportunity for me to vlog that. Just my, it was, it was not difficult. I won't say the level of dif level of difficulty was high, but I did struggle, and I was using a kitchen mallet, and I thought during the during when I was doing it because I did it by myself it was just like I was whacking it first with my hand and so my hand is this hand is I was like whacking it sorry my finger was there and it was just hilarious at some point and I should have vlogged it but say la vie I just that's probably why you know I try to keep on me I keep on making videos and I'm always like I'm so bad at this. This is, you know, there's YouTubers who are amazing and I love watching them, but they remember to vlog. I don't. <laughs> but I'm going to show you what I did. Just the, um, uh, and I'll try to insert pictures. Or you know what? You could go to my Instagram. I had put a before and after picture. And I actually even, because it's going to rain on Friday, today's Wednesday, I was going to, uh, I wanted to make sure I paint it today, and it wasn't the exact color that I wanted, which is a bummer, but I might, I'm, I can always repaint it if I wanted to, but I, this one, I'll show you the paint. Let me grab it. Actually, instead of grabbing it, I just will come here and show you. So this is the Valspar. I did not keep it clean. It's the one coat exterior stain and sealer transparent all weather defense for your protection. And this is the color cedar natural tone. And I feel like it comes off more orange in real life. So I would not get this if you don't want an orange tone, which I did not want. Um, but I think maybe after it dries, it'll look different. It's been Let's see, it's been a couple of hours, so it's drying time is four hours. And like I said, I wanted to do it before it started raining. So, um, and I got this one. There was a whole, I was going to stain first and then do a whole bunch of things. Uh, but I sanded and then I painted. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so before I show you the gar raised garden bed, this is the paintbrush that I use. This is the Purdy uh, medium stiff nylon, extra large nylon. And that's the paint can. Uh, it recommended nylon first and then nylon or polyester and then also um, cloth and stuff like that. So you had options. You didn't have to use this. And they're not cheap, but they're not. They're also not expensive. I think this was like $14 around that price. And well worth it because I don't have something like this and I could use this for future projects if need be. And so, let me go show you the project. Oh, gotta lock the door. Unlock the door. I haven't shown you the backyard either, so. Okay. Nothing much has changed back here. I brought that from the front to the back because it's no longer Christmas. Um, so yeah, pretty much the same. Oh, I might have never shown you the backyard. There's my dirt. And here's this rock that I've had forever. It says, bless this garden. So I'm going to put that there. Um, but I got two bags of dirt. I don't know if I'm going to need more than that. Hopefully not. And ta-da! So this is after it's painted. Like I said, if you check out my Instagram, you will see it. And I'm liking it the more it dries. But can you tell that it leans a lot more orange? And that's just my fault. I guess cedar wood is orangey, kind of. Um, so, yeah, it came. It was super um, doable. I was going to say super easy to build, but that's not true. It was a struggle at times, but it took me maybe a half an hour to 45 minutes and i was it's a puzzle it was basically just stacking stuff on top of each other um as you can tell there's no so i can't do this part yet which is these are the tops to go on there um and i think it says you could use a screwdriver but i don't i tried and it wasn't going in so we're gonna have to use a drill um but that's the only downside to building this is i couldn't complete this part yet 
they also came i didn't paint underneath flats because i was like there's really no point and i probably didn't even have to do the inside of this either but no my mind was like telling me to paint the inside um so they give you this fabric and then you could put the soil on top of it and then they give you just put these down so these aren't even bolted down if you wanted to really secure you could bolt it down i don't see a need to right now um but yeah i'm really liking it and it was like i said it was really um a doable job again i was gonna say super easy but it wasn't it was it was a project that i probably could have had help with but i did it on my own and let me turn around so here is my backyard and i'm showing you i was saying to you about how i'll show you what i updated but i don't think in my house tour i ever showed you the backyard so here it is i might have shown it in other clips i'm not sure if you follow me on instagram you would see my backyard uh but here are the two bags of dirt i hope that's enough for right now um i feel like i need a third but this is something that i've had for a very long time it says bless this garden and i'm gonna put that into the garden and ta-da so this is after um a couple of hours of drying and i'm liking it the more i'm looking at it I still think it's tad orange, and maybe that's my mistake. I, cedar wood is that orange leaning? I don't know. Uh, but let me show you. It's basically you just are putting a pu together a puzzle. This was the part that was hard, getting these things into here, and that's where I, I was going like this. But then I got a mallet instead. Um, let me show you all the way around. So perfect. For my, what I have in mind, it's just a small vegetable garden that I want to do. Uh, I'm thinking tomatoes and possibly cucumbers, peppers, different types of tomatoes. I want to get cherry or grape and beefsteak because I love beefsteak tomatoes. Um, and, er and a few herbs like parsley and basil for sure. Depends on what I find. Oh, and jalapenos. But this is for the tops here. That's probably my only complaint is as it's the direction said that you could use a screwdriver to put this in like the screw in and that is not true. I tried and it wasn't working. You need a drill. Um, you can also so they give you this fabric to put on top. They don't give you anything to put these flats down or boards down. I don't think it's necessary. You might want to if you're moving this around a lot. I don't plan to move it once um it's gonna go over there because that gets sun i don't want to put it in the grass because i don't want to take up take space away from ava uh, my dog <laughs> um i didn't paint these i didn't feel like there was a need to i did probably didn't even need to paint around over here because um you don't really see it but i don't know in my mind it was bothering me so i did it and i had enough paint so i still have i want to say a quarter cup of paint left just to give you an idea i didn't paint underneath either um but this bothers me i did a bad job i didn't realize when i was painting this part that it was dripping down um i would say it so let me turn this around i would say this project on a level like if you if i had to I would, out of one out of five, I would say difficulty five being very difficult, one being easy. I would say it was medium. I was able to put it together by myself in a good amount of time, um, but I think it would go much faster if somebody was helping you, um, but nobody's, nobody's home during the day. I'm not going to ask my grandmother to push, push wood blocks down. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just so bummed out. I didn't think to film myself doing this. Like, what an opportunity to see me struggle. But I'm going to keep pushing forward. And I'm going to, if I remember, I'm going to, because I plan to go to Lowe's. I went to Lowe's last week. And they did not have any vegetables or herbs. I was very confused. But maybe it's too early for them. Although I just asked my friend and she went to there's a market by in where I live that's pretty nice I might go there or she said Home Depot but I'm not gonna go to Home Depot and 
yeah, so I was just really confused by that. Anyway, I'm going to try to film me picking out stuff, picking out plants, and then I'll show you, I'll try to remember, remember Sam, I will be putting t together the garden. And I love this thing. I think it is, you know, I was going to get one that went on the grass over there. And... I don't know something about it I don't like bugs I know this is gonna sound so dumb but I don't like bugs so I was like I really don't want to dig and they're probably gonna be bugs in this raised bed but or is I think it's called the raised planter uh, I got it on Wayfair for total was 144 which I don't think was bad I it came in like three days I put it together and now I'm just waiting to get the plants that I want. So super easy project. I don't know about this paint. I mean, I'm liking it more, but I'm also not, I was maybe, I have spray paint, white spray paint. So I'm thinking of doing that. I don't know. I'm very indecisive. It, the thing is I could always repaint it. So it's, that's not a big deal. Um, I'm super excited. I tried gardening fruits not fruits sorry veggies and herbs um in the summertime a lot but i'm pretty excited about this now you can't do a ton of stuff on this bed i keep on saying bed but i think it's the actual term that uh the company uses was raised garden or raised planter i will show you the box anyway like so there's it's i believe it's two by six it might be two by six, which is good. For, like I said, for me, I want a small garden. Um, I don't want one that takes up a lot of work. Like my neighbors over there. Um, I don't know if you see the poles coming up. Like they go serious in tomato growing. And they like make a day event at the end of the summer to make tomato sauce. And I'm talking about gallon bags, black garbage bags. And they go in. Um, but no, I just want something like manageable. And if, you know, things don't work out, I didn't spend that much money um to do this and we'll see if it, you know i would if i do well and i want to like throw more stuff i would invest in another one of these um simple to put together i'm not gonna say easy but it was simple to put together and nice it's it seems really sturdy perfect for the backyard and I don't have to bend on the floor either. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the box and then we shall continue with this project. I wanted to share with you the actual name of the product. It's the Idella two feet by four feet. So I was wrong with the six feet. <laughs> it wasn't that big. Raised garden. And I said that I got it, I felt like three day shipping or whatever it was, very quick shipping. I ordered it Friday night. And I didn't expect them to ship out on the weekend. So I consider that kind of like three-day shipping. It was very fast in my opinion. I got it uh, fairly quickly from the day that I ordered it. And I wanted to show you. So it's $132 right now. I think I did see a lower price. It was a lower price before. But I just, I don't know. I think it's, I'm loving it so far. Now I haven't used it yet. But painting it was pretty easy. Putting it together was okay. Um, and I wanted to share with you some pictures of what other people did with it. Now, I was trying to find more pictures of uh, people uh, of, like, them painting it. But I couldn't find that. So, there's somebody. And their dirt is not that high. I'm very new at this. Is dirt supposed to be high? Or, like, theirs is pretty high, I feel like. Um... And there was one guy, I'm sorry, I know this is, oh look, somebody bought multiples. And there was one where he painted it. I know you're, oh, I think this one, look, when you want to garden but don't want to go where the snakes live, I am in total agreement. But they stained there, see? Or they painted theirs. And there was one more, which this guy went, oh, let's see, see all reviews. And I think he was further down. I'm sorry. I know this is like the worst. Did I go too far? Oh, here. So he said he applied stain and then two coats of urethane. I mean, that's real rustic. Wow. I like it. 
Um, but yeah, just I think it's a project that you can do with your family as well, um, or like just yourself too. I did it myself, and I'm probably gonna do the rest myself. But I also want to share with you. So the you order it through Wayfair, Wayfair, but everything comes through this company, and this is the company you contact. This is the, for for help if you need help. Green Fence Company, and they also do other things here. Um, so this is the one that we got or not me and you <laughs> this is the one that i got um but look if you really want to do gardening but you have let's say a very small balcony but you still want to do some gardening they have a smaller one and then they have i believe this is like a middle size one um but super excited to do this and yeah um i am very happy so far I'm outside the next day and I'm liking it a little bit more and more but with my personality this is driving me crazy <laughs> and it's in a few spots like under that leg and on that leg I messed up the legs over here but I'll have to make do with it because I do really like it and I'm liking it more and more. I don't think I'm going to repaint it another color this year, but maybe next year. And I also want to put kind of like a design on there. In my mind, I'm thinking maybe um, like the fruits that I'm going to... Fruits. Yeah, fruit. No, I'm not going to... I don't think I'm planning to grow any fruit. But like vegetables or some kind of design on there. Hi guys, so I'm at Walmart Garden Center. Not my pick, but they have a whole bunch of herbs and veggies, so I'm kind of excited. It's raining, you can tell. Um, probably not the best time, but that means the plants are wet. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what I choose, okay? I hope you guys can hear me, but I'm gonna show you what I got yesterday. I got bamboo sticks instead of the cages, the tomato cages, um, and some, oh, where's the wire? I don't know where I put the wire. There, there's like this um, malleable wire. That's not the proper name for it, but they're four feet long. Um, the other ones just seem too big. And then, um, so let's see, we got some basil, parsley, jalapenos, spinach um mint over there what is this i forgot oh oh he got two types of mint spearmint and oh no thai basil i got i thought yeah, sometimes we make rolls so i thought that would be good and those are tomatoes back there and then those are the beef steak tomatoes and these are the smaller tomatoes and i i had another basil plant from before and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to plant that basil with the other basils in here. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that pot. Uh, but with this one, I had something growing out of here, but I forgot what it was. And so I'm going to take this out and then put, because I couldn't find uh, radish, radish plants that are already uh, starting to grow. So I got this. And they say it doesn't take that long for it to grow, maybe like about four weeks. So I think I'm going to put the radishes in there. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Um, because it says it needs... I forgot. I was watching a video on it and that might be too small for it. But yeah. I think I'm going to do that today. Um, not right now though. And there's Miss Ava back there. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay guys, so I am done. Here I'm hanging a strawberry plant because I think what happens is they tend to grow out and then they're gonna go down. And then there's the mint. I'm putting that in a separate pot. I think I, I forgot if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but they tend to just go crazy and grow and just take over. So I'm gonna put that in that pot. And there's the jalapenos back there. Here's the spinach. The mint, uh, sorry, the basil, the parsley. Here's the two big tomato plants. And I actually had these, I had this one right next to, right there in that empty spot. And I was like, you know what? I think that's, they're too overcrowded. So I put this one over here. And in here, it doesn't look like anything, but I put the radish seeds. So we'll see what happens with that. 
and then here are the cherry tomatoes uh two different types and since i have room over here i might get something else i'm not sure uh, there's a few other things like chives and arugula if i could find it that i want to get so yeah i'm really happy with the way it turned out and this is really the first time that i've ever planted a garden myself like i've gotten these types of plants but i've never really done anything with them i just let them grow um i added like maybe a little bit more dirt that's about it so hopefully this will work and the funny thing is you know what? I'm, I'm gonna turn myself around okay so this is gonna be the end of my video and i'm just looking at that mirror because my neighbor the last time i was out here she was like talking to me through the window <laughs> um but i am super excited look at my hands Oh my goodness i'm super excited about the garden uh any advice for newbies if you are a gardener let me know i feel like the only thing that i did wrong here was maybe space things too close together i just didn't know and i know that uh things that you cook together grow well together so i put the tomato and the basil and parsley closer to each other i don't know um but yeah i'm so happy that it's done and I can't wait to see if we get any results. Hopefully we do. At least a little bit of something. So thanks so much for following me on this garden journey. And I'll let you know of any results in the near future. Bye.